Hey guys, and welcome to innerspace.com unboxing videos. And today we've got a much cheaper product than last time. And this time we're sort of in the mid-range sector with a portable deck amp from the Netherlands. And it's the, uh, the fifth iteration of the iQ portable amp deck. And even though I say it's the fifth iteration, um, it's the V5 model, I actually think it's the fourth revision. So uh, the V1, V2, V3, and because there's so much new stuff going on in this V5, they decided to just skip V4 altogether and start again with V5. And if I'm not mistaken, it runs for 600 US dollars. Now, before we actually get into the unboxing, I just want to thank you for your suggestions of what you want me to do with the channel, what you've been liking, what you dislike, what you want to see me do. And as you want to see reviews and you want to still see the unboxings, I was thinking something that we could do is if I unbox the products that I get through, so this was the next product I got after Total Decking, I unbox it, then you let me know in the comments if it's something you like the look of and you want to actually see me review on the channel. So if you, yeah, it's okay, you unbox it, that's enough for me and we'll read the review, then say, I don't, don't bother with a uh, YouTube review. If it's something you really are interested in, you think this looks like a really, uh, exciting product with a lot of potential and something you might want to buy and you do want me to take you through and give you a full review of the product then let me know in the comments i'll see what i can do and i should then be able to review it at least then I, at least then i know what you want reviewed on the channel and um not just what i think you're going to find exciting okay so um i think that that will work quite well and thanks again for the comments you've been leaving about what you want to see me do um and now it's time, I think, for me to take you over. And then let's get this little bad boy open. All right. Over. Okay. So the packaging for the iCube cube is just quite simple. It's just this little tin, which I think is quite nice. Um, it says iCube cube on the front. Um, it says the model on the back, the V5. They are still making the uh, V1s. And maybe the, maybe the V3 as well. I know they're making the V1s still. You can buy them from uh, some distributors. Um, I must say the tin is getting quite hot because I've got it in, in the sunlight here. So we open it up, we've got padding on the roof of the, uh, of the tin. And then we've got um, a new dimension in portable hi-fi, a link to their website. And um, saying the user manual is downloadable from the website. We then have some accessories here. And then we have the actual amp deck itself there. So before we actually have a look at the unit itself, we'll just go for a uh, run for the accessories we get. So, IQ, power to the music, um, amp band. We then have a little elastic band. It might be a, a different, different way to use an amp band. That's quite interesting. Then we then have our cable. So we've first of all, just got a simple micro USB um, I guess charging slash using it as a computer DAC, USB DAC there. We then have um, a nice long interconnect, just a mini to mini, 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack. And lastly, we have the coaxial cable for the coaxial input. Um, just a mini jack at one end that goes into the IQ and it's a uh, coaxial at the other end. Um, it's actually not a uh, RCA jack there, it's actually a female plug there. So you actually get a normal coaxial plug, plug the coaxial plug into this, and then you plug this into your uh, IQ. Now, interesting there is you get input, you get cables for all inputs apart from optical. And I'd really like to see it come with a nice little optical cable if you're using it with an S1 Kern device like I have planned. I have a great optical cable, well, it's a great optical cable, but it's way too long for portable use. So, I want to see one of them nice small ones that's just going to loop from my AK120 to this, um, this IQ V5, and I, I wish they'd include something, something like that with the package. So let's finally take you over to the start of the show, the actual um, amp itself. And um, we just pop it out here. We are greeted with it. So we have um, just some switches and the volume wheel around the front. Now, 
Well, I'm oddly, this, the iCube marking on the side suggests that I'm holding it the right way up. Would you not say so? But it definitely seems that the amp should be seated this way around due to the volume wheel and all the switches. So on the left, we have the uh, on and off switch, you know, screen power light there. And on the right, we have the, um, the gain. So we have high gain, low gain. And then we have all the inputs and outputs around the back. So starting from the far left, we have the headphone. Oh, no, so from the far left, we have the headphone out. We then have the optical in. We then have the USB input. We then have um, an input switch. You can choose between either analog or um, digital inputs. And on the far right, we have the um, the 3.5 millimeter jack in. So that's obviously for a analog in or a line output. Or you can actually use this with the coaxial cable and have that as a digital in. So you've got four options of inputs there. Three digital, one analog. So it's up to you really how you use it. Uh, the finish feels quite nice. This is sort of like a metal at the front here. We have like a rubber rubber coating in this midsection, which will probably give it a nice grip to um, to a source device. If I bring you some uh, other similar products for comparison. So have to say the uh, ALO RX Mark III B is a uh, similar similar um, sized amp. Although I definitely feel a bit more. Uh, Bit more weight on the ALO. Obviously the ALO doesn't have a digital section, it's just an analog amp, but it has got a balanced output on the uh, on the uh, front and a balanced input on the back, so there's, there's some difference in, a, in usability there. So here is my reference portable rig now on the right, and it's a modified Aston Kern 120 with no headphone amp section and just a pure line out. And um, on the back is the Vizuge Pure portable headphone amplifier. So if I take this band off here, get rid of the interconnect, you can see the Vizuge next to it is a certainly smaller amp. Um, you can see it's definitely a smaller amp there. Obviously again, it's a pure analog amp, no digital section. And um, well, the AK120 is again much smaller. It fits quite nice in that little that little rubber section there. So um, stick my interconnect in, and voila, we have a analog portable rig with it. Or I can use the optical out of my AK120 and use the DAC section. Of this, which is a Cirrus Logic DAC section, I think it's the CS4392. It's capable of um, DSD over USB only, and it's also capable of PCM up to 24192 over all inputs. Let me check that for optical, but I think so. And uh, the design with this was sort of to be able to drive all sorts of products. So they wanted it to be able to drive um, he all all headphones, no other, however power hungry. And uh, they wanted to be dead quiet with IEMs, which sounds like a uh, sounds like a good deal for me. We'll see how uh, true that turns out to be um, during our testing. I'm going to pop this one over to Josh to test for us. So um, yeah, expect a written review in the coming months. Cheers for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts if you want this reviewed, and I'll see you soon.